Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today I want to show you guys um, some really cool things that I found on the flip tank config on the flip configured tank. So basically, it's not using the shelf tools. It's just inside of SOPs that we just like, um, you know, kind of like the configure billowy smoke. It automatically configures. A basic flip tank simulation and then it, it allows for us to create very easy uh, boundaries around objects so that we don't have to sim it on like massive oceans and then um, we'll look into how to create some of these interesting collisions but like um, playing with some of the forces so on, on this first uh, tutorial I am gonna go through um, configuring the boundary layer so that we can have like a boundary around the flip tank okay okay guys so the first thing we just want to drop down a geo and we're gonna drop down a flip configured tank and what this does it automatically creates the pretty much like everything we need um, it's it's really nice so let's come here on our flip tank and look at what we have so it already has like gravity set up for you and this is the particle separation where we're gonna set up the, the resolution of the simulation um, inside here we are going to change on the visualization I'm gonna turn turn the points as spheres off um, and and then if you hit play you will see that you've got a basic tank simulation nothing's happening because I mean there's really no forces there but it's in theory it's working really nice so let's drop down a box and a box is always great because it allows us to see the size and the scale of what we have here um, so let's see So there we go so that is going to tell us kind of like the dimensions because this is one meter what I want to do is create some sort of boundary um, so that we're not simulating the entire thing so let's create this let's come here on our transform I'm gonna hit enter and I'm just gonna make it a three by three on height because it it's also going to affect the boundary on the height and I'm going to connect that on top of our flip container and let's see and there you go that's pretty much all you need to do um, what's super cool about this is that we can animate it so let's see basically start it like here set down a keyframe and I'm gonna do like a hundred frames and go to the end of our boundary limit here let me see You hit shift and click you can um, adjust your your curves because I just want this thing to be a linear animation like that and if we come here you will see that we can now sim and the boundary is automatically updating it's super nice it works both on the Y on on all axis and uh, yeah, so that is like the, the basic idea. So if you have like a boat sim or something, you can create a boundary around it. And something that I would recommend is for example, say for example, you this sphere is your boat. You can create a, a bounce. And the bounce is gonna create a box around your, um, your boat and then you can create some padding 
um, because the boat's already animated with the bound you just connect that here and that is going to give you a, um, a great way to control how much of the sim you really want to use all right on the next tutorial i'll show you guys how we can set up um, collisions here